something super interesting happened this morning. Um, it happened while, you know, while I was reading my Bible this morning. And don't skip. I'm not here to preach to you. Um, it's just a personal thing. I read my Bible in the morning and, you know, there's an illustration I want to explain to, to people like myself, entrepreneurs, coaches, uh, people that are trying to build up their business just the same way I'm doing. Um, I was reading the Bible this morning and it was about, you know, the Israelites leaving Egypt. At this time, they've already left Egypt and it was, you know, Moses that was leading them on the way. And all of a sudden, the Israelites started complaining and, you know, they, they just, they were just bashing at Moses and, you know, just complaining and, you know, talking about how when they were in Egypt, they were able to eat uh, meat and they were able to eat freely, but now on the way, and I just thought of it as entrepreneurs, as business people, as coaches, as artists, as musicians, or whatever it is you're doing, because you're not doing a nine to five job where, uh, whereby you're getting paid a certain amount of money every month. You know, there comes a bit of worry and a bit of, you know, uh, tension, especially within your friends or your families, they start talking to you oh look at you that's why you're broke because you know you, you better go and get a real job this happens to a lot of artists a lot of writers you know especially creative people and even any other type of business out there you you get bashed out and you know i could i was just illustrating we as individuals we as business people we are like moses so here here we have moses you know we are like moses and you know the israelites that are complaining are like our family family members friends you know they complain you know they, they start ranting at you that you're not you know you're not doing what you should be doing you should be working get a job in this in the bible passage the israelites kept on complaining to moses and you know this led Moses into seeking God, talking to God, and you know, he not said to tell God, Oh, why have you brought me to put? I mean, why have you put me in this kind of situation? As business people, as entrepreneurs, there are times we start thinking, Oh, why should I do this? Why am I even doing this? You know, you've got this idea that God has laid on your heart and you decided to go with it. But now, because money is not flowing in the way it used to be when you were working, you know, now you can't eat meat as much as you can. Sometimes it's not even as if you're not making the money. You you can even outrightly be making more than you were already, you would make when you were working. But because as business, there's a lot of overheads, there's a lot of money to be put back into the, into the business. Say, for example, you can buy iPhone or you can buy um, a brand new car just because your business is still growing and you need that money to reinvest back into that business. But because your friends who are working are able to, to, you know, take out loans to go and buy cars, don't forget they don't have anything to reinvest, to reinvest into. They just turn up to work and work. But whereas you as a business person, you have to reinvest your money, buy new equipment, pay some of your freelancers or some of your staff, so you don't have that luxury of, you know, buying all that they're buying. But I have a word for you. You're still going to get to the promised land. You're still on the journey. So it's just like the Israelites. They forgot that they are still on the journey. God took them out of Egypt to take them to the promised land. But they couldn't wait to get to the promised land. So, you know, we... And Moses gave in. Moses at some point was like, oh God, why are you doing this to me? And then God spoke to him. In this passage god was like okay you know what gather some of your men and i'm going to empower them the way i've empowered you i'm going to give them the same kind of prophecy the same kind of spirit that i already gave you and this brought me to let you know that as business people as entrepreneurs we often try to do too much as well so if you look at that illustration god now said go and get other men bring 70 men thereabout and i will empower them so it's time as entrepreneurs, we are the leaders, you are the leader of your business. It's time to empower other people, delegate things. So it's not about, instead of worrying about how to get things done, you should look at who 
can you trust who can you delegate some things to to get it done for you so this is the next one i'm going to talk about which is our who you need to look for who you're going to get who's going to help you get things done I've experienced this myself. I've struggled so many times. I try to be the same person here, be the administrator, be the admin person, do my accounts, do my this thing, film, edit, color grade, do the sound. You know, it's all good, you know, when you're starting out, but at the same time, you want to quickly start to focus on who can get the do job done for you. Just like my last film, I was able to get who to shoot it for me, um, I'm now working on who to edit it and I'm already training one of my friends, one of my brothers on editing and he's already good at editing. So I started giving him work to edit and you understand and that frees me and gives me more time to focus on developing the business. So I advise you to also look for who, don't, don't be the person that does everything. You understand? You might think, oh, you're saving money, this or that, but if you try and get another person to do some of your job, even if you have to pay the person, it would in turn, in the long run, make you much more and help your business to grow more. And again, in the, in the, in the Bible passage, the illustration I'm talking about, Moses also was like, when God told him he would, he would uh, bless these people and make them have meat, for a whole 30 days straight. Moses did what most of us always do. Moses was like, how is God going to do it? Is he going to bring fish, meat from different places? How is he going to do it? Why do we put the negative first? God instructed him, go and get these people, I will provide uh, meat. You already have this idea. Okay, I want to be this. I want to be a musician. I want to, you've got this idea that would help other people. And instead of you to start acting on it, you start to wonder, oh, but people don't pay. Or oh, people will owe me money. Oh, I'm a black man. I live in a white country. How would they do business with me? Oh, Africans don't pay. You start putting negativity. You start bringing in different culture. Um, What's it called now? You start bringing different cultural beliefs and using it to to stop you from acting my dear friend god told moses go and do it so you too whatever idea whatever business idea is already in your mind go and start it you will progress as soon as you start it i started making videos like joke and today it's become serious business for me i am passionate and seriously doing it something that started as a joke i was just filming my wife when she was pregnant i was just documenting it i was just joking around the house just filming her and that is how it has become serious business for me so you only progress by doing and doing and you will learn more and more so in this bible verse uh, bible passage i'm talking about the Israelites were worrying Moses just the same way sometimes because we're not making enough as entrepreneurs or even when we're making enough, but because our business still requires more money to grow, we're not able to spend as much as we want to. Different people will start complaining and start talking and, you know, they'll forget. They will, they will just start bashing you and even you yourself, your thoughts will start bashing you. I want to encourage you that you should just keep going on. You're yet to get your promised land. You've only started that business. You've not even spent 10 years. You've not spent 12 years in the business. You've only started a couple of months ago. Are you already thinking of quitting? Don't quit. You will get your promised land. And talking about the who of our business, who we should delegate some things to, I recommend you taking on a challenge that I took. Uh, that was where I got to know about focusing on your who rather than your how because the more you focus on how to get something done the more time you waste on it but if you start focusing on your who delegate these duties to people there's so many people on freelance platforms on fiverr.com on uh, upwork on a lot of platforms that are ready to do this work for you and it will free you time and you'll be able to concentrate on your own work i recommend you take this challenge there's the challenge is one funnel away challenge i learned a lot from me and that has helped me become who i am today click the link below